Welcome back YouTubers to part 7 of the trailer floor rental. Unfortunately I lost a video of uh, me building the cabinet with the countertop. But that happened so nothing I can do about that. Uh, as you can see the couch, I put the couch back in. We got it reupholstered in a neutral blue color. Turned out pretty well. Put the little end tables back in. Uh, when I put this bottom box back in, I put more 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 brackets underneath to hold it up. There was only a couple of screws. I don't know if you remember in one of my first videos, there were three screws in the back wall holding that box up. And that was it. So I put some braces and some extra legs in the back. Uh, the countertop, remember, it's bamboo. So um, the counter now is about eight inches longer and about three inches wider than the existing one. So I had to do a little curve cutting for the stove to fit in. Uh, the stove cut out ended up being the count the cutting board from top of the uh, stove so it turned out perfectly uh, it's three coats of tongue oil and polish that gives it this nice shine and a little bit of hand buffing with a lint free cloth you can see there's still more than enough room with the couch and the tote this is a jackknife sofa so basically it pulls up and it becomes like a little double bed there so there's more than enough room that's a little ottoman we're going to use you know, put our feet on and put some blankets in. The floor, that was my last video. It's uh, holding up well. It doesn't seem to be lifting. The glue is doing a good job. Uh, the toilet, a little finagling to get that in because it's very tight. And behind the toilet to get the water line back in there. But it's all cleaned up. Looks nice. Also, uh, we put a, I bought a new medicine cabinet. A nice new medicine cabinet in. Uh, had to move the light back because it was too close. It was causing too much shadows. We left that old sink in. We're going to clean it up. Uh, I don't know if you remember about the bedroom, but there used to be uh, the double bed on the bottom and a single bed that ran from about here all the way across. And this cabinet used to sit over in that corner. And as you can see, it used to sit way down here. So if you were sleeping with your head down there and, and got up too quick, you'd whack your head. So it was probably about 24 inches. It's now about nine or 10 inches deep. I cut it down and now we're gonna use it the storage cabinet there. And the single bed became that back shelf. So we got a new foam mattress. We haven't put it in yet because we're not done the rentals. Uh, this window, all we're going to do is we're going to uh, get that reflective uh, insulating stuff and insulate that and just leave it there permanently because we can use the top window for light and ventilation. So over here we decided to uh, not put the dinette back in. We like the, the openness of the trailer, how, how open it is. The dinette, the dinette comes out to probably about here. So you can see how tight it is if you got the dinette running down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a bamboo countertop in along where the old, this is the height of the old countertop, the old table I should say. So we're going to put the bamboo countertop right underneath the window ledge. And it's going to go right up to this screw hole. And then underneath the counter, I'm going to build a cabinet that's going to sit over the furnace. And maybe and it's going to have a... A door in here they're gonna put some storage stuff in it and of course it's gonna have a vent to allow the fresh air in and I'm gonna cover this with flooring because uh, I don't know but my wife's a little short so she'll have her feet on there when she eats I'm sure and I'll probably sit in this area we got a new uh, put a new smoke detector in the, the other one was old they only last like 10 years so I bought a new smoke detector I got a little bit more trim to put in or molding to put in along the edges here and along the fridge along the fridge so overall turned out pretty good really like the countertops uh, we put the new sink in had to do a little bit of a re-plumbing because there was a double sink in here so I just bought some new plumbing pipes and uh, re-plumbed it all new registers in the floor look nice uh, if you remember, we took out the middle register that was about right here. Useless in our mind. We don't winter camp, so we don't need it to be, uh, you know, 
95 degrees in here. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Um, I'll hopefully won't have any more video mess ups and I'll show you how I got the countertop looking like that for this one and the cabinet pre-built in the cabinet to fit over the existing uh, furnace. Thank you. Remember like and share and stay tuned for part 8.